This is a poem called Paris 68. Changing a world owned through history's course by elites who hold power by subtlety or force takes more than words and individual deeds but the total rejection of corruption and greed. In 68, I was 25, everyone seemed 3D alive. It wasn't the mescaline or LSD. It was just a special time to be. Politics and art formed a DNA that made us want to seize the day, to change the world, to make it ours. We'd rip up the old. We'd capture the hour. I took a trip with a girl and tent and headed to Paris from my cheap room rent in a dowdy hotel in the middle of nowhere. A Renault estate, flares, shoulder length hair, to stay with a fashion model in Les Invalides, a male Adonis, who'd shelter and feed us and mix with a socialist student crowd who marched with trade unions to sing aloud songs by Dylan Ox and Barry Maguire, quoting Danny LaRouge, our bellies on fire. Climb the parapets to hurl down bricks at police and black-clothed apparatchiks. Paris was conquered. We were bloody but unbowed. History was a corpse in a funeral shroud. Freedom was won, and a new world beckoned. But we were naive and hadn't reckoned on those who have secretly always held power and with invisible stealth now captured that hour. They bought off the workers who happily sold our radical ideals for a pocket of gold. And all we'd rejected returned in full force to erase the evidence of our radical cause. Changing a world owned through history's course by elites who hold power by subtlety or force takes more than words and individual deeds but total rejection of corruption and greed. 